here. I'm here to do a top five Wednesday for you guys, but the theme is a little bit different and it is about TV shows or other media that has science fiction or fantasy worlds or stories. And I've actually been dying to do a video like this, so I'm really excited that top five Wednesday had this be a topic. And it's actually very, very apropos because I'm finally in the finally at the tail end of my Buffy rewatch, so I get to talk about Buffy and a couple of other shows that I really enjoy. Um, they're gonna be more like fantasy-ish. There is no science. Well, no, Stitcher is technically a science fiction. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys will like me while I dish a little bit. Um, they will probably be spoiler free. The only one that might not be spoiler free is Buffy. So if you haven't seen all of Buffy, you might wanna skip ahead, but I will talk about it in layman's terms and then I'll spoil you guys a little bit. Um, so the first show I'm going to talk about is Buffy. Of my childhood. I think I started watching Buffy when I was in fifth grade and I think it ended the year before like I ended, I graduated from, college, from high school um, and I love Buffy. I really adored that show so much and I'm just at the tail ends of my rewatch and I really loved it as a rewatch basically about this girl who has been called to be a vampire slayer and she is the one chosen one and it is probably one of the one of the shows that I still stand by this that is the most well plotted and I'm listening to a podcast called rewatchable if you ever want to rewatch Buffy I highly recommend that podcast because they do it super well um but they say that the showrunners never forget anything in that show and it is so true Something could happen in season two and it could come back in the line on season seven. And it's just incredible to watch. Um, I love, I think I've grown to love Buffy on the rewatch. I really do like Buffy now. But in the beginning, I think she's a little bit hard to like sometimes because she is the chosen one. Kind of like a Harry Potter related theme. Um, but I always love Xander and Willow and how they had a little trio and... They in you know in the fandom they called them the Scooby Gang and I totally think I think that the that that is like the heart of the show for me those friendships and seeing how they how much they've accomplished in seven years and again you're looking back on a show that was mid and made in the early two thousands so there's a lot of stuff now that you watch like oh my god Xander you shouldn't have done that but um and I still stand by this I think Willow is probably one of the most well crafted characters in that universe and I think Allison Hannigan is spectacular they do a lot of a lot of such. Um, Willow was the first um, lesbian character on network television, which I think is amazing. I love Allison Hannigan so much, um, and she is definitely the star, like the standout in that series for me. I think her character arcs are so so lovely, and I think she has some amazing work. And I think I prefer the back half, like season episodes five, six, and seven, to the show because I think that it plays a long game, and the long game finally pays off. Um, and I just, I love it. I love, I love, in addition to Willow and stuff, I also really, really love the character of Faith. I think she's a character that is super interesting. And I love, like, her, the morality between her and the morality you see in Willow. Um, but I just think it's one of those shows that I can just, I love. I just, there's some episodes I will watch forever. Some of my favorite episodes of the show is Hush, which is mostly an all-silent episode. Once More with Feeling, which I stand by this. It's probably one of the best musical episodes of a TV show I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, this season finale of episode 6, which is by far probably one of my one of my favorite season finales ever. Um, and also the series finale. And there's also a series of episodes in episode 6 called Trash, Wrecked, and Smash, which is a very, very key in story in Willow's storyline. And those are some of my favorite episodes. But if you have not seen Buffy, I highly think that you should check it out. Those are me gushing Max Poetic, but I love that show so much, and I'm really enjoying my re my 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 rewatch. Changed the view I'm gonna give you guys for the rest of the video. Um, but the next show I'm gonna talk about is Charmed, and this is another WB show that was on a long time ago. I think it I think it finally ended in the early 2000s. I think yeah, I think that that's it. It was kind of around the same time as Buffy. I set up again um but now we're gonna talk about charmed so i love the girl power of charmed i think that three sisters saving the world was so much fun i loved witchcraft and i just love the show the the thing that this show does really really well same thing as buffy is it plays with shades of morality and who is good and who is evil 
And I just love the sister bonding of it. I think that it was so fascinating. I definitely loved... I think I love the whole show, but I think my favorite season was season six and season seven. I love concluding seasons. And it's funny because I don't think I I actually... I remember, I remember I saw season six live and then season seven I went to college. So I never watched season seven live and I watched it on Netflix. So I did never actually saw this because I was in college at that point. Um, but I do love the series finale of Charms, but I just love um, Phoebe and Piper and um, eventually we get um, Rose McGowan and then we get Kaylee Cuoco in the last season. And I just loved all the demons and all the things that we that we experienced. And I thought that they really had a nice balance between the overarching storyline and the demons of the week. I think that they're definitely more of a demon of the week show. They do have overarching villains, but it's definitely on um, maybe not of an intensity aspect, but I really do like it. I would love to rewatch that show someday with a podcast. Hint, hint, rewatchable if you guys are watching. Um... But yeah, overall, I really, really loved Charmed, and that's another show that I really love that is science fiction or fantasy based. I'm going to chat about is the Arrowverse on the CW. So I definitely was more of a Marvel girl, and I still am more of a Marvel girl, but their TV shows, they don't have that big of a presence. So I definitely fell into the Arrowverse, and I started watching Arrow when I realized that Flash was going to be a thing, and I kind of liked the Flash, and I thought Grant Gustin was kind of handsome. But I definitely appreciate all the shows for what they are. I think Flash and Supergirl are probably my favorites, but I do love them all, and I definitely am fully caught up. Like, I do watch them and try to watch them in order, but the shows that I really do love is Flash and Supergirl. I think that I love the way Supergirl is structured, and I love the funny the the hilarity of flash if i had to pick my favorite would definitely be flash because i just love those characters dynamics um but i like how it's also like a little bit more magical or like supernatural in a sense and arrow is definitely the darker of the show and i do definitely like the time traveling one legends of tomorrow i have not i'm not fully caught up on black lightning but i do really like black lightning as well i think that the lead in that cross the guy who plays the lead he's really really fun to be around and i just love him as an actor as well but overall, I love how they all interconnect, and I love how it really is a big family, and I love how, like, there's subtle nods to each of the other shows. Um, so if you're looking to kind of, it's it, it's a lot. I do recommend that if you want to be fully caught up, you really do watch everything in order, because everything can be connected to each other, so you do kind of need to watch it. Or you could just pick a show that you like and just watch it and then just watch the crossovers and be okay with that. But I like a full worldview to understand the whole world of the Arrowverse. But yeah, those are my thoughts on why I love the Arrowverse TV shows, specifically The Flash and Supergirl, but I do watch them all and I do enjoy them all. What is Teen Wolf? About how I got into Teen Wolf and it is through New York City Comic Con and I was in a panel for The Shadowhunters because I love The Shadowhunters. The reason that's not on a list is it's like an adaptation. Um, and I didn't want to include ad adaptations in this list, but I do love Shadowhunters as well. And you had to sit through the Shadowhunt, you had to sit through the Teen Wolf panel to get to the Shadowhunter panel. And I had never seen Teen Wolf in my life, but I knew Hypable. There was a very, very focused effort to get people to watch it on Hypable, and I'm a big Hypable fan. Um, but I remember I was sitting through the panel, and they they showed us the trailer of season six B. And I love Dylan O'Brien. I've always loved Dylan O'Brien. And I saw that trailer and I said, damn it, I have to watch it. And I caught up in about a month. I watched all five seasons in a month just so that I could see the last season of Teen Wolf. And it was probably one of the best watching experiences of my life. I'm now in the middle of a rewatch because I fell a little bit behind on, on, on episodes and I didn't get to listen to the last couple of episodes. So I'm actually going to rewatch the entire show and then finish the podcast not another Teen Wolf podcast. If you're watching Karen and Natalie, I am going to get there, I promise. Um, but yeah, so those, so I really love the show. I think it's great. I think Dylan O'Brien and, um, oh, what the hell's his name? Scott. Um, Dylan O'Brien is my favorite in that show, but I also love Scott McCall so much. I think he's great. I think that the dynamics, again, it's another show that like you could really see that the world building pays off because it's so nice. I love the shorter seasons. I loved the various villains you got to meet and how all the characters really went through so much in all six seasons. 
Um, and I just love season five. Season, season three B was probably my favorite, and I did love the the sec seat six A because it had they handled Dylan O'Brien's departure really well. I also did really enjoy the season the series finale, but season three B is definitely my favorite. I'm a big Lydia and Styles fan, which is no shock to anybody, but I really do like them in that series as well. And I just love the romance between Scott and Siles, and they have some of probably the most emotional scenes I've ever seen on TV. Hotel California is one of them, um, and some seasons, season 3B is just so emotionally charged that I'm just like, oh my god, this is amazing. But yeah, I definitely, definitely am a big Teen Wolf fan, and I'm really excited to finish my, re really excited to finally complete my, complete my rewatch and finish listening to that podcast that I started. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on Teen Wolf and why I really like it is actually a freeform show and it is Sinters. Cancelled and it was bummed me out because they ended it on like a cliffhanger and I hate when shows do that. Same as I think with Ravenswood freeform, you really really suck at canceling shows without giving them a fair like an, a, a conclusion. So that's slightly disappointing. But the show is about this girl named, um, it was about this girl who she was basically programmed to be a blank slate and she could stitch into people into people and find out relive their last moments and see who killed them and there's a whole big other mystery it was really really science fiction i love the whole cast that was really really diverse i loved all the mysteries and i love the overwhelming mystery of the show it was just really really well shot and really really well done and i really enjoyed it um i was so sad that it like did not i was happy we got three seasons but i wanted more i wanted like a concluding se season and we we just won't get that but if you're looking for kind of an interesting science fiction with definitely like more like background stuff and a deeper mystery going on, I do recommend. It's kind of reminded me of Moments of Dark Angel, like similarly, because she was bred to be something. And that's kind of what it came. But I really did like the show and I was sad to see it go so soon. Alright guys, these are all my science fiction or fantasy shows that I love to watch. Let me know in the comments if some of these are your favorite shows to watch or what are you some of your science fiction or fantasy shows or movies that you escape into and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye!